Hello, and today I'm looking at this Namco Dig Dug PCB. I thought I'd give it a test out while I've got the Namco harness out on the bench. So let's plug it in and see what happens. Doesn't sound great. Uh, yeah, that's looking a bit faulty. Kind of looked like it was going to do the sort of boot up sequence at first, but no, it's just going a bit mental. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, it's kind of trying to boot up. Anyway, let's uh, let's find out what's wrong with this. Okay, so the first thing I've done with this board is I've taken out all the socketed chips and cleaned up the legs. Um, the you've got to be very careful with these Namco custom chips as they have very fragile legs and they also get quite a lot of corrosion on them so you've got to very carefully clean them so I've done all that, uh, we see the, the ribbon connectors and so on and we've made some progress so the game is now sat on a static RAM OL error message now I'm not sure where RAM OL is yet but I'm sure I can find out um, and I'm, I'm guessing that replacing that or the buffers driving that will move the game on to the next stage okay so the Oh well, RAM error has been resolved. Uh, that was that 16k RAM chip here, which has been replaced. Uh, and now it's cycling through the self-test continuously, and it occasionally flashes up RAM 3H error. Um, now, as there is no RAM at location 3H on the board, that's obviously a lookup code. So I've checked the different versions of the manual, and none of them have a reference to, for this Namco PCB on where the uh, 3H RAM is. Uh, there's a revision 1 and 2 Tari version, but not the Namco version, so I'm going to have to work it out by actually testing the RAMs now manually. Right, so using my Logic Pro, I've identified that D3 and D4 on this 2114 RAM here at location 2L appear to be stuck high. So I'm going to remove that, test it out of circuit, and then replace if required. And there's that RAM replaced, and let's see what happens. Oh. 3H error still. So, looks like there's another fault on the board still, but we have fixed a definite dead RAM, as I've just tested it out of circuit, and it was bad. So, there's still something else. At least I've actually fixed a fault, though. Now, if you look, there's actually some different RAMs on this board, like that one, for example. So, that's been changed by the previous owner. Now, while I, after I replaced this, um, and it didn't fix the problem. I had a look on the other side of the board but soldering and this soldering was a bit crappy so I basically cleaned it off with the desoldering iron and then re-soldered it again and look what happened. Never trust previous repairs. Let's see if this can be started. It certainly can. Well, I'll give it a full test, and it certainly looks like it's working. There we go, another fix.